What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what do we have today? The Kyosho Rage 2.0. This is a one-tenth scale, four by four, call it monster truck, what have you. Anyway, um, this comes in two different variations as far as colors go, just uh, when it comes to, instead of being orange here, it would just be a bright green. And I did make some modifications to it as far as, I just took the little sticker off that's around here. It just didn't look right. It had that same color here around the rim and it just sticker so pulled it off i think it looks a lot better i'm sure you guys would agree on that one now since it's a 110 scale it does straight out of the box have capable of a 2 or 3s lipo on the electronic speed controller so just want to kind of make sure that you guys know on the electronic speed controller yes it can handle a 2 or 3s lipo but the motor only recommended for a 2s lipo i've run it before on some of my other cars on a 3s and got lucky but you're gonna heat that motor up and you're gonna burn it out. So take my advice, don't run on a 3S LiPo. Even though it's a little, it's faster, still, you're gonna burn it up pretty quick. So it's not ready for that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've done to it because like I said, it is on a, it's already set to LiPo mode and if by chance you wanna run this thing on a nickel metal hydride battery, then you're gonna need to move a jumper. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you, I've already moved my electronic speed controller so it can get a little bit more air because it's tucked underneath some plastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick before we get this thing running. All right, so right here, this is the little jumper. You can move this jumper over to those pins. You can see where it says LiPo here and then nickel metal hydride. So you just need to look at those and you can move that jumper over. So you're good on that part, but if you're running a LiPo, you're already good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Now, this thing was under this little plastic cover here and I just want to have a little bit more air circulation, easier to get to, so I just moved it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing out and get it running. Right, guys so I'm not gonna give you my full thoughts on it just because of the fact that I haven't really ran it much but I know as far as the Kyosho line anyhow they got pretty good stuff anyways and uh, I was kind of surprised this thing as far as the speed on it it's not really fast it is a brushed motor it's a 14 turn that's in there but I love these radios these are the uh, synchro radios from Kyosho those things are great so I that's one thing I, I really enjoy about getting any of the Kyosho stuff besides their vehicles but I'm just saying added bonus is the radios they're definitely nice i like all the adjustments right there quick and simple to get to but yeah the car handled well it did i did a few jumps with it and i was i was very pleased with it even off-roading it was able to absorb those bumps even just kind of a transition from one concrete to the other as far as a little bit of height anyway just jumping it in general it was good so anyway appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about this thing. Until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Check us out at OMGRC.com. See you.